Hello, all my fit friends. Welcome back to Wow Body. Now we have a full body workout, and you're going to need a booty band and some kettlebells. Let's go. All right, fit friends. Give me a nice big inhale and exhale. Another one. Let's get ready for our affirmation for the week. Inhale and exhale. My body deserves to be loved appreciated and taken care of. All right, let's get the timer going and let's complete our warm up and get into it. So we are gonna start with a good morning with a lateral walk. So start with your feet together, hands behind your head, elbows wide. Step wide as you bend forward into that good morning. And we're just gonna do two per direction. So as you hinge forward, push the hips back Keep your spine long, chest open and elbows wide. Pull that belly button in the whole time. So a little lateral walk, good morning. Feel a nice, good stretch in your hamstrings and glutes as you hinge forward. Awesome work. Okay, we're gonna take our right knee. We're gonna lift it and twist and down. Stay on this side as you twist. I want you, we're not gonna add a crunch into it, so I don't want you like drawing your chest down. Just keep your spine long. There you go. Same thing, other side. So, chest open, balance. <laughs> spine long and twist. There you go. Right chest towards left knee. Good work, good work. We're gonna do a walking burpee next. So, place your hands on the ground. Step one foot back at a time, one foot up at a time. Come all the way up. There you go. Step back, step forward. Bring those arms all the way up overhead and stretch and take it back down again. Give me a really good plank at the bottom there. Ah, <sighs> doesn't that feel good? all the way up. I can't remember what's next. Let me look over here. Oh, we're gonna do a hamstring curl march. That's what's coming next. <laughs> One more here. All right, go ahead and give me that hamstring march. Every time the heel goes back, push your hips forward, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your hamstrings. There you go. Okay, we're gonna do a split squat with a side bend next. Abs are in, chest is open, shoulders back, smile on. It's gonna be an awesome workout, everyone. Squeeze the back of those legs. So we're gonna start with a five minute banded booty activation circuit. Then we're gonna get into our kettlebell full body workout. But we're still warming up here. So step back, right foot goes back. And then as you sit into that split squat, give me a side bend and reach. Feel that nice stretch right there along your side. And we're gonna switch sides here. Are you ready? Step your left foot back and give me a side bend as you sit deep into that split squat. Nice. After this, we're all done with the warm up, and we are gonna put our band on. Now, I'm gonna have two bands on today, just for shits and giggles, guys. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have my smaller band just under my knees, my thicker band just over my knees. If you don't have two bands, don't worry about it. Just use one band, that's okay. So, we're gonna start laying down on the mat here. I'm gonna elevate this so I can see what's coming next. Go ahead and lay down on your back. And you're gonna have your heels close together, okay? Knees open and wide. Pick up your toes so you're driving through your heels. Come up, press against the band, hold for three, two, one. Down, up, and hold. Three, two, one. Down, up, and hold. So the heels are together, knees are open wide, Pressing against the band the whole time. Squeeze the glutes, get a full hip extension there. Hold it for three seconds at the top. There you go, three, two, 
One, if you want to, you can tuck your chin if it doesn't bother your neck and you can look up the whole time. Awesome, okay, so banded squat with a three count pulse. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm making you get up and down here. So, have your feet wide, press against the band. As you go down, arms go out, pause and hold for three, two, one, and up, okay? Sit those hips back, go just to 90 degrees, hold for three, two, one, press against the band the whole time. Down and pause, three, two, one. Down and pause, three, two, one. Good, down and pause, sit, three, two, one. Press against the band the whole, down, the whole time. Yes, okay, I'm gonna make you get back down on your knees. I'm gonna have my mat here for extra padding. I'm gonna pull my little band up, so I'm just gonna double band it here. And it's a quadruped donkey kick. So, your leg is bent, foot is flexed. Kick that foot back and up like you're gonna try to put your footprint to the sky there, or to the ceiling if you're inside. There you go. 30 seconds per side. Press against the band, give me a little pause at the top, squeeze. You're gonna feel it just as much on the stabilizing hip, right? As you are of the leg that's moving, the booty of the, that's moving the leg. Same thing, other side. Here we go, flex your foot, lift and pause at the top. Pull your belly button in, okay? Support your lower back here, vacuum out your deep ab muscles there. Lift, oh no, I see a mosquito. I forgot to put on my bug spray. I hope I don't get eaten up out here. <laughs> it's been raining this week, so the mosquitoes are gonna be out like crazy. Up and hold. But it was such a beautiful evening, I wanted to come out. Okay, we're gonna do a lateral walk. I'm gonna take this band to just under my knees again. Okay, so I'm double banding it. Here we go. Hinge forward, give me a little squat. Give me two steps one direction, two steps the other direction. Oh my goodness. Wide step, pick up your foot each time. Good job, good job. This is just a five minute booty activation circuit here. We're just going through it one time, each exercise one time. Hang in there with me. Press against that band. Give me nice wide steps. Okay, so I want you to lean forward. Go to a wall, to a countertop. Lean forward on something and just give me kickbacks. Oh, yes, I'm feeling it. Just as much on the standing leg as I am on the moving leg. Come on. Kick it back. Kick it back, squeeze those glutes. Hello, Jinx. What you doing there, pretty girl? Almost done with this side. Nice, I'm gonna fix this band. It rolled up on me. That's the problem with these little rubber bands. They roll up on you. There you go, same thing, other leg. Okay guys, after this, we're gonna take the bands off. We're gonna grab our lighter kettlebell and we're gonna get going with the full body kettlebell circuit. So I, what I have for us is supersets today. So we're gonna superset like an upper body and then a more lower body focused exercise. We're gonna do each superset just kidding, we're not done yet. We're gonna do each superset two times through. I forgot, we have another one. So, hinge forward and give me the abduction. Hold for three seconds and bring it in. Out and hold, three, two, one, bring it in. See how I'm hinged forward, abs are in, back is strong. Open up and hold it, three, two, one. This is the last glute activation. I promise. <laughs> in, hold it out, three, two, one. Brings together, open up, hold, three, two, one. Do you feel it? I feel it. Hold, three, two, one. Okay, now we can get the band off. Ah! And again, you're gonna want a moderate kettlebell, not too heavy. I'm gonna have 
my 15 pounder here. That's what I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna put this up here so I can see what's going on. Okay. So right now we just need a moderate kettlebell. We are gonna do a shoulder press into a windmill. So this is how I want your stance. Hold it in your left hand, left foot, toes are forward, right toes are turned out to the side. So give me a press, slide down, give me that windmill, stand up, bring it down and press it again. Slide down, come up, give me that shoulder press. Slide down, come up. So the back of your right hand is sliding down the inside of that right leg. Down, up, slide into that windmill. Good, so the windmill is getting your obliques, really challenging your core and your shoulder stability. Quick transition to the other side. So, right toes are forward, left toes are turned out. Have like a staggered stance there, okay? Give me that shoulder press. Slide down into that windmill. Bring it up, press. There you go. Slide down. Woo, this is my weaker shoulder, so I'm really focusing, keeping it nice and stable there. This exercise is so good. The windmill is so good for shoulder stability. Slide it down, bring it up. Nice. There you go. Slide it down, bring it up. Good. You got this. Slide it down. Okay, so we are gonna do a rear lunge with a twist. I'm gonna hold the kettlebell like a goblet. I have a 35 pounder. I'm gonna see how I do with the 35 pounder. I think I can handle it. So, you are going to step back and twist. We're gonna stay on one side. One side for 35 seconds, then we're gonna switch to the other side. So you're twisting over that front leg. Step back into that rear lunge, twist that kettlebell over towards that front hip. Good job. You got this, come on. Put it down, we're gonna transition really quick. Okay, that's it. Get right into it, other side. Step back and twist and come up. Oh right, we're coming all the way up. And then step back and twist, come all the way up. Step back and twist. Oh, goodness. My lifting factor here are my biceps. Holding them out like this with bent elbows. Oh, but I'm not giving up. I don't want you to give up either. Ooh, balance. Okay, so here's a break. Feel me, you hear me breathing hard, right? Sip your water. We're gonna repeat those two exercises one more time. Okay, so the shoulder press with the windmill, then the rear lunge and twist. Okay, I'm gonna grab my more moderate weight. I'm gonna put it, let's start with the right hand first. Right toes facing forward. Stand wide, left toes facing out. Give me that shoulder press. Slide down with that windmill and bring it up. Press, and then a windmill. Good. I want you keeping your belly button pulled in, your abdominals tight and strong the whole time. Okay? The whole workout here. Let's go. Here we go. You got this. Okay, left toes facing forward, right toes turned out. Have a nice little staggered stance there. Get ready, abs in, chest up. Nice, press, slide down into that windmill, bring it up. Press and slide down, good. Whew. Nice. Good job, hang in there. 
Take a really slow and controlled as you slide down, right? You don't have to rush this one. Good job, good job. Okay, I'm gonna grab my heavier weight. Come on, biceps. Don't fail me now. I'm gonna start with the right foot in front this time. Get ready. Hold it right there at your chest. Step back, twist over that front leg and bring it up. Whew. Step back and twist. I want you to have your shoulders back and relaxed, chest open. As you sit your hips down into that lunge, keep your torso really long. Draw your head up towards the sky there, okay? Put it down, shake it out. That's it, pick it up. Other leg in front, let's go. Back and twist. Good. Hang in there. Mind over matter. Don't stop until you hear that last beep. Okay, we're moving on to a set of two new exercises. Sip your water. We're gonna do a single arm kettlebell curl. So I'm gonna use that 15 pounder for those, okay? <sighs> Breathe. So as you're standing, stand up tall, but make sure you have soft knees, okay? Let's start with it in your left hand. Feet hip width apart, strong stance, elbow in, curl it. Keep the elbow in and don't be hinging your hips and using momentum like this to come up. No, stand up tall, isolate the elbow joint. This 15 pound kettlebell is really challenging for this. Whoo, this is my stronger side too. I'm in for it for this other side. That's all right. Use your breath, exhale as you contract, as you lift. Really quick, just five seconds, switch hands. Same thing, other side, shoulders back, abs in. There you go. Keep your elbow in close to your side. Chest is up, abs in, smile on. job. Okay. I hope you guys are having an awesome summer. I hope you're enjoying our Blessed Body series. I hope you are loving your body even more today than you were yesterday. Okay. So we're going to do a clean into a squat. So I'm going to use my heavier kettlebell for this. You're going to start with it on the floor. You're gonna grab it, pull it up to your chest, into a squat. Okay, so abs in, go down, pick it up, clean it to your chest, go down into a squat, and then drop it down to the floor. Bend your knees, clean, squat, give me a little RDL, drop it to the floor. Bend your knees, clean, squat, come up, hinge here to bring it to the floor. Bend your knees, clean it, squat, Hinge from the hips to bring it down. Bend your knees. Clean it, squat. Give me that little RDL there to bring it back down. Bend your knees. Clean it, nice. Okay, a little bit of a rest. Sip your water. We'll go a little bit faster with that one the next time through. Just wanna make sure you kinda had the rhythm of it, right? So, we're gonna go back to that kettlebell curl. And we're gonna start with your right side this time. How you doing? Just breathe. Let's get ready to go, less than 10 seconds. Grab your more moderate weight. Elbow in, stand up tall. Here we go, curl it. Nice. Whew. 
20 more seconds. Hang in there, fit friends. Come on. Keep your chest up, shoulders back away from your ears. Elbow in. Try not to swing from the hips as you do this. Try to just isolate this elbow joint. Switch into the other side. Whew. Double check with your posture. Let's go. Make sure your knees are soft, okay? Please don't lock out your knees. Have soft knees as you stand. Just keep curling. Exhale as you curl. There you go. Stand up nice and tall and straight, right? I'm not rounding. Shoulders back. Really good posture. All right, stand up nice and tall and straight. Nice, we're almost there, it's about to ding. You got this. Okay, grab your heavier weight. Okay, we're gonna speed up this rhythm a little bit. So, bend, bend your knees, clean it. Hinge as you bring it back down. Bend your knees, clean it, okay? Oh, give me a squat in there, there you go. Bring it there, bend your knees, clean. Squat right there, hinge forward, bend your knees. Clean, squat, hinge forward to bring it down. Bend your knees, clean. I'm not gonna keep saying it, you got it, right? <laughs> Almost there. Nice work. We're done with those two exercises. Let's sip some water. Okay, we're gonna get down on the floor. So grab your mat. We're gonna do a chest press. Okay, I'm gonna use my 35 pounder. You use what's appropriate for you. How strong is your upper body feeling today? You're gonna lay all the way down. Beginners, you're gonna keep your feet on the floor and you're just going to press it overhead like that. More advanced people, bring your legs to tabletop. Most advanced people, extend your legs out. And if you want that extra challenge, pick up your head and your shoulders off the mat too. The lower your legs get, the more challenging it is on your core. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Yes, you got this, come on. Less than 10 seconds to go. So put this down. You're gonna actually just use this to put your foot up on. We're gonna do a single leg, foot elevated glute bridge. So having this, your foot up, is gonna give you more range of motion to drop the hips. So bigger range of motion makes it more challenging. And we're just staying on one leg and then the other. I want you to think about tucking your tailbone under, squeezing, getting a full hip extension there and down. We're gonna switch legs here in just a bit. Hang in there, fit friends, keep going. Squeeze those glutes, yes! Less than 10 seconds to go. You in with me? I know you are. Keep it up, keep it up. Nice, really quick transition, just five seconds. Other foot up there. Pick up that other leg. Let's go, glute bridges right here. My kettlebell's moving a little bit on me more on this side than it was the other. There we go, I got it now. <laughs> oh, I'm looking up. It's a beautiful evening. The sky is still blue. There's some clouds in the sky. And my, I have a green canopy of leaves from the trees kind of framing out. <laughs> as I look up, framing out the sky. I love it, it's such a pretty evening. I hope wherever you are, you're having a beautiful day. Okay, here's our rest. Sip your water. Where's my water bottle? You don't have to get all the way up though, because we're gonna do those exercises one more time through. If you're doing the hollow body with me with this chest press, if you have your legs up and out, Make sure your lower back is pressed into the mat the whole time. If at any point you feel your lower back coming off, 
bend your knees or put your feet down, okay? Let's go. Let it back. You choose which version you want to do. Press. Press. Pull that belly button in. Press your lower back into the mat the whole time. Squeeze those chest and tricep muscles, the front of your shoulders, to push that kettlebell straight up over your chest. You got it, you got it, you got it, go. Come on, 10 more seconds. It's getting hard, but I'm not giving up. I'm going all the way to the last beep. You go all the way to the last beep too. Come on. Ah. Bring it there, it's gonna be your little stepping stool. I'm gonna start with the other foot first this time. So I'm starting with the back foot first this time. And pick up that front leg. Give me those single leg glute bridges. Working the glutes, working some hamstrings. Oh yeah, it feels so good to move our body. This is how we show our body appreciation and love. Just one of the ways we show our body appreciation and love, right? It deserves it. You deserve it. You deserve to be appreciated, loved, and taken care of, right? It's your, it's your responsibility to take care of yourself and your body. You can't expect anybody else to do that for you, right? It's your responsibility. <laughs> So thank you for being responsible and here with me, right? <laughs> okay, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Squeeze your glutes at the top like crazy. Squeeze those cheeks. <laughs> good job, good job, good job. Let's go. Almost there, almost there. Nice, here's our longer break. So we're gonna do a sumo squat with a high pull. And so I'm gonna keep the heavier weight for this actually. The high pull is gonna work our rear delts, but you're really working your biceps, you're using your biceps too, and a little bit of a push off of the floor from your sumo squat to help you lift it up. So that's why I'm going a little bit heavier for this one. And you're just pulling it up high enough for your elbows to go to shoulder level. I don't want your elbows here. Pull it up, pull your elbows far apart and out at shoulder level, right there. Down, up. Give me a little pause at the top. Squeeze those rear delts. Down, up, good. Down, up. Just bring your elbows out to shoulder level. Pull them apart far and wide at shoulder level. Work in the back of the shoulders. Yes. Good job, good job. Down, up, down, up. Okay, so what are we doing next? Single arm. It says fun slingers, but I had a typo. It's gun slingers. So, but I like that name. Have your kettlebell on one side. You're gonna give me a hinge. Pull it back, pull your elbow back. So you're getting like a pull and work in your middle back and some of your biceps here. So a little swing, pull it back like you're a gunslinger in the wild, wild west. As you hinge forward slightly from your hips, keep your torso long, abs in, and give me a strong pull back. Even stronger. Oh, I was slacking a little bit. Pull it back quick and strong. Go to the other side. Ready? Abs in, chest up, shoulders back and relax. Give me a little swing. With the gun swing. There you go. Make that sling. Pull that elbow back quick and strong. Work in the middle back and your biceps. Nice work. Don't let it hit your leg on the way to the side. <laughs> on the way down, I should say. Good job, good job. Come on. You got this. Nice. Here's our long rest. Sip your water. We're going to do those two exercises again. <laughs> All right. So 
So I'm gonna have my heavier kettlebell here for my sumo with the high pull. Feet are wide, toes turned out slightly. The kettlebell's right in between your legs. Shoulders back and relax. Chest is open, abs are in. As you go down and squat to get that weight, keep your chest up. Pull your elbows out wide at shoulder level. Give me that little pause. Squeeze those rear delts. As you come up, do you notice that I'm not shrugging my shoulders? I'm keeping my shoulders back away from my ears. I want you to do the same thing. Do not lose your neck. Keep your neck really long. <laughs> nice work, nice work. Good job, keep going. Less than five seconds to go. Okay, getting ready for those gunslingers. I'm gonna start with the right side this time first. Again, abs in, shoulders back. Give me a little swing and sling. If you have two kettlebells of the same weight, you can do it with both arms. Yep. This doesn't have to be a single side exercise if you have enough equipment. <laughs> I don't happen to have two 15 pound kettlebells. <laughs> and hence, the single side. All right, keep it going, keep it going. Abs in, squeeze your back as you pull the elbow back. Feel that bicep work too. All right, switch to the other side. Really quick transition. Shoulders back, abs in, check in with your posture. Give me good posture, okay? Exhale, right there as you pull it back. Good job, good job, come on. Proud of you. Keep it up, keep it up. Almost there, less than five seconds. Nice, okay. So, what are we doing? I think we're going down for abs, right? Yes! So, for the first exercise, I'm gonna use the kettlebell as the target. All right, we're gonna sit down. We're gonna lean back and have soft elbows. Fingers facing forward, elbows behind. Do not lose your neck. Keep a long neck, shoulders back and behind. We're gonna take our legs nice and long to one side. And when we get going, we're gonna take the legs over and over, okay? So as it comes over, give me a little crunch there and down. So you're picking up and crunching your chest towards your knees every time they come up and over. Get up and over that kettlebell. Last two exercises of the day. This is the last superset of the day. And we're focusing on the abs and the obliques. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir, let's go. Good job, good job, good job. Oh, a little rest. Okay, so we're gonna do a straight arm weighted crunch. I'm gonna push myself and I'm gonna hold the heavier one. I think I can do it. I don't know, I won't know unless I try. I might have to switch to the lighter one. Feet are flat. Hold it right up there, crunch up and down. Keep your arms straight. Every time you crunch, try to get as much of your shoulder blade off the mat as you can. Keep your chin slightly tucked, look forward. Oh, you can hear it, how I strain Ooh, as I come up. That's okay. Let's go, let's go. Hang in there, fifth friends. We get a long break after this. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down. It's gonna be my target again, but I'm feeling thirsty. I'm gonna sip some water. I want you to. I want you to do the same. So guess what, fifth friends? This is the last set. Right, we're getting ready to do the last set and the last set is the best set, <laughs> right? Sip your water. Give me your all. I know you do. Give me your best effort. If you need this easier, 
keep your legs bent, right? The straighter your legs are, the more challenging it is. If you need to do it with bent legs like this, that's okay. Sure, modify before you give up, right? Switch it up, make it a little bit easier version of the exercise and keep going. Okay, get away from me mosquitoes, they're back. Get away. <laughs> okay, come on, almost done with this one. Crunch up as you get over that kettlebell. Oh, let me wipe off my hands. I do not want sweaty hands. <laughs> okay, let's lay back. Feet flat. Are you ready? Last set, best set. Arms straight overhead. Crunch. Try to get all of your shoulder blade off the mat as you crunch. Good job, everyone. Come on. You got this. Hang in there. It's slipping, it's slipping, it's slipping. Because I have sweaty hands. <laughs> Come on. Okay. I'm gonna get this out of my way. I'm gonna grab my water bottle and we are gonna cool down. Kind of catch your breath. All right, sip your water. We're gonna lay down on our back here. Here we go. And roll yourself up like a ball. Tuck yourself up. Oh, make yourself tight like a ball. It might feel good to rock a little bit. It might feel good to kind of sway your legs from side to side. Oh, tuck those knees in. Okay, go ahead and lay down on your back. Take your feet flat up to the ceiling like you're gonna put your footprint on the ceiling. Now grab your insteps and give me that happy baby. Pull your knees down towards the ground and kind of rock back and forth in that happy baby from yoga. <laughs> Okay, so you're laying down. Take one arm behind you and lay on it. Now, that might be enough for your shoulder here. If it's not, slide your thumb up towards the center of your back in between your shoulder blades and lay on it. So opening up the front of the shoulder here. And release, so the other arm, just take it so your fingertips come here. That might be enough for you. If you want more of a stretch, Bring your hands, your fingers to in between your shoulder blades. Just lay on it there. Opening up through the shoulder here, some of the chest. Using our body just to apply a little extra to stretch it a little bit more. And we're gonna sit up next into a straddle. I do believe it's a straddle next. All right, so yes it is. So go ahead and give me a straddle. Legs go wide. And then just lean over to the right. So I don't want you folding forward. Keep your chest open and really stretch over to the side. I am gonna have a few new mosquito bites. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him. We're gonna go to the other side here in a few seconds. Oh, lean over even more. Other side. Getting your hamstring and then your obliques and your lats and your side. Oh, and you even get it into down into this hip here, right? Oh, this feels so good. Get even longer, sit even more over. Okay, so you're gonna go to the middle now. Hinge forward over the middle. I don't want you rounding your back. Keep your chest up, shoulders back. Your back is flat and lean forward in the center there. As you feel your hips open up and your lower back release and your hamstrings release, you can go forward a little bit more, but keep your chest open, spine long.
And I just want you to find your most comfortable position, seated or laying down. I'm gonna stay seated today. If you're sitting, give me a really tall, long spine. Abs are in. If you're laying down, just relax. Give me a nice deep breath, inhale and exhale. Go ahead and close your eyes. And just let your breathing return to normal. And we're gonna count our breaths and practice our noting, okay? So every time you inhale, count one, exhale two, inhale three, Exhale, four, go all the way to 10. Just counting the breaths, being super aware, noticing how each breath is a little bit different. It's not the exact same every time. If you catch your mind wandering or random thoughts coming in, note what kind of thought is it? Are you thinking? Are you remembering? Are you feeling something? Note it as thinking or feeling and just let it pass and then return back to counting your breaths. Okay, a nice big inhale. Exhale, inhale, and let's repeat our mantra. And this exhale, my body deserves to be loved, appreciated, and taken care of. Go ahead and open your eyes. Nice and easy, stand up. And come on, fit friend, give me those virtual high fives. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're feeling super fabulous after this full body workout. And I hope that you've been doing the stretching session, right? I want you to do our stretches for the week at least two times during the week. If you need to get it in, why don't you add it on and get some extra stretching right now? No matter what you do, no matter where we meet again, whether it's on Instagram later today or right back here on Monday, I want you to always remember no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Bye, fit friends.